Hey everyone! Without understanding how cultural humility and awareness, advocacy, and social justice are important to the counseling profession, we cannot truly reach those the system are oppressing. Without this understanding, we also cannot help those in the system access all that the system offers them as available resources. Dr. Martin Luther King said it perfectly when he said, we must work with determination to create a society not where black men are superior and other men are inferior and vice versa, but a society in which all men will live together as brothers and respect the dignity and worth of human personality. One of my steps towards accomplishing this as a future counselor was actually at the age of 18 after graduating high school. Um, I actually moved to New York and lived in Queens and worked with the nonprofit organization Street Life Ministries. Um, like what was said in the podcast, um, fresh out of high school, 18 year olds might think they know a lot more than they do. Um, while the podcast didn't technically say high schoolers or fresh out of high school, you get my point. Um, oftentimes we can think we know a lot more than we do. Um, so needless to say, I had a lot to learn at 18. Um, and I still have a lot to learn. One of the guys actually that we were ministering to yelled at me on a street corner that summer, um, that he couldn't talk to me because I had never been homeless before. And he was right. I had never been homeless before. I had to do a lot of research and self-reflection and gain a lot of experience working with the homeless community before they would really sit down with me and really listen to anything that I had to say um, and really reach out and start forming those relationships. But I will never undervalue the importance of consistently being there for someone who even seems to resist it at first because eventually they will let their walls down and let you usher them in the steps towards healing in their life. Jesus sat with a woman at the well in John 4, knowing her story and knowing that she was an outcast. She met with her, or excuse me, he met with her right where she was in her life, and that brought forth the beginning of her testimony. Isaiah 25, 4 says it perfectly. For you have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat, for the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. In summation, the action that I'll take to develop or demonstrate cultural humility with clients uh, moving forward um, in my walk towards becoming an LPC in the state of South Carolina is to be aware of multicultural orientation and to keep my self-assessment bias in check. Um, along with lifelong learning in regards to my clients' cultures, one of the actions that, that I will take to engage in social justice is partnering with my clients, um, with partnering with them and learning all that the community has to offer them so that their needs are met. And in doing that, if I see something in the system that is failing them or one of their resources that they're not able to completely access, I can walk alongside them and help them get everything that they need to do. Um, so yeah, that is my social justice vlog. Everyone have a great night.